For now, I'm not very good at this part in Malarkey. I've done it a couple of times and I'm really not very good at it. And I am expecting it to drop off the live and get damaged, but we'll see. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Team Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm playing around with blanks and making them and turning them. Now the plan is to use some Australian Melee Burr, which is wood and has a beautiful grain all over the place in it. This is gorgeous wood. I'm gonna put that in some resin. I'm gonna try and color it up a bit before it goes into the pressure pot. I'm going to cure it and then I'm going to turn it hopefully into bottle stoppers or something or bottles or oh, bottle openers I might do a bottle opener <laughs> anyway let's see how I get on with this one so first of all I take a ceramic tile and I cover it in sticky back plastic also known as contact paper in the US I believe and I'm doing this so that the resin when cured will be easy to get off of the tile I have broken tiles in the past trying to get the resin off of them. They do come off, but it's a little tricky. So sticky back plastic really helps with this. It doesn't need to be straight, it just needs to be flat on the tile. I'm sticking it on the back with tape because the sticky back plastic doesn't like grip into the back of the tile. And I cut the corners off so that it sticks flatter to the tile. We don't want any bumps or anything so that it makes it uneven. And then I'm gonna be using plexiglass. So I've cut it up into the pieces that I need and I'm going to secure it into a square with tape. If you keep the plexiglass flat to a flat surface and then push the next piece of plexiglass up to the corner, you should get a 90 degree angle or thereabouts. And if you're doing all four pieces the same length, then you'll get a square. Now there are occasions when that doesn't go to plan. So I always use hot glue to secure it into place after I've stuck it together with tape. So going around the outside with a hot glue gun should fill up any voids underneath the plexiglass, in theory. I always go around two or three times with a hot glue gun and because I've had leaks in the past, I also tape it up just to secure it because hot glue melts under heat and resin does get hot. So there's always a potential for it to melt. So I've cut a piece of the Australian Melly Bird to size to fit into the mould and I'm going to paint it black only on the top and this is because I want to put colour in on it and the black will reflect the colour more vibrantly. Once it's done I'm going to cover it in metal leaf glue. This will once dried go clear but it will stay sticky so I can add anything to stick to it. In the past I've used metal foils, you can use glitter, you can also use gold leaf. That would come out lovely. Oh, copper leaf, yeah, that sounds really cool. So the possibilities are really endless. So 45 minutes later and it's all sticky and ready for me to put anything on it. So I'm gonna be using Let's Resin Chameleon Powders, which is gold. Some red glitter purchased from eBay and some Rebel Glitter, which is White Opal Flakes. And I'm gonna just spread them around on this piece. The piece is gonna be cut up eventually anyway, so I want an amalgamation of different colors in different places. So that there's a little bit of color in each of the pieces when this gets cut up into four. And I'm just showing you here that the Let's Resin Gold Mica Powder is really, really sweet and the way it changed its colour is gorgeous. So I'm just showing in the mould here, it's all taped up. Admittedly, the tape isn't that brilliant. It's a cheap tape that I bought and I won't be buying it again, I'll tell you that for nothing. But the piece of wood then slots nicely into the mould and it's ready for the resin. But wood does float, so to stop it from floating, I'm gonna hot glue it and stick it down to the sticky back plastic in the mould. 
While I was making one, I thought, what the heck, let's make two. So I made another one with similar colours, a little bit more purple and green in this one though. And I'm going to use Vista Ocean for this. Vista Ocean is a deep pour resin and it's perfect for this size of mould. This is where things start to go a little wrong. As I'm pouring the clear, I suddenly thought, oh, I'll put some colour in this. It'll look really nice with some red swirls. So I dipped a stick into a paste. The paste was too heavy and the colour sank. As it's going to be turned, it's not a problem. I can get rid of the colour from the base. However, the mould leaked and half of the resin ended up in the silicon cake tray, which I put there in case there was a leak and I'm glad I did. So I had to top this one up to full again. So then I added some glitter in the second layer and it didn't come out as I wanted. It didn't look right at all. However, luckily, I have a second. I have a number two. So that's the one I'm going to be turning today. It's come out really lovely and I put some glitter in that one too. So as usual, I want to stress that I'm not a great turner. I am a newbie turner. This is all new to me. I've only had a lathe since August and I'm not confident enough to give you instruction on how to do things because I'm still learning myself. This is the first time I've ever made anything like this. I decided to just go for it basically, get it round, use the rougher with a negative rake tip. This is an easy wood tool. On my record power, Coronet Herald Lave. I keep practicing how to say that because I keep calling it a Triumph Herald and I know that's a car. I do know that's a car. If you have any comments, questions or ideas, please use the comment section below. Writing comments and putting the thumbs up really helps my channel out. It will tell YouTube that you like my content and it should recommend it to others and that is great for me. So giving you a little bit more of a close up here, you can see where the resin's coming down. I'm trying to make the shape, pulling it in a little in the centre so you've got a nice hand grip. Now this piece, when it's done, I absolutely love. This is Talk Over Wendy and I know how it comes out and I do love it but I've decided to use it for something else. So stick around to the end of the video and you'll find out what I'm doing with it. But for now, I'm gonna stick a little bit of music on and let you watch the turning. show you here where I'm taking it down to make the domed end. Now I obviously have to part it off of the piece that's in the chuck but I don't dome it until I've parted it off. This is where I'm making a recess for the metal part that's going to be placed in the end and I'm trying to mark out where I need to create the mortise. I've got the measurement of the piece that's going in and I'm trying to mark it out so that I can create an opening for the piece to be sat inside. And I'm using a detailer. This is my easy wood detailer just to hollow out that mortise for the piece to go in. I do keep offering up the piece to make sure that it's the right size. And I do get there eventually, but it takes a little bit of effort. So once I'm happy with the recess and I think the head will fit into the area, then I'm going to drill a hole for the screw part to be fitted in. Now I don't actually have the right drill bit for the screw. 
So I figured I'm gonna put this screw in a larger hole and use two part epoxy resin glue to secure it in. So I start off with a smaller drill bit and then gradually go up in sizes until I get to the size where I know the piece will fit and all it needs then is gluing inside. And then it's time for sanding. So I'm gonna start with 120 grit. I'll show you the first and the last sand. The last one is a 400 grit. And then I use cellulose sanding sealer for the wood. You don't need it on resin, but you do need it on wood. And then it's time for Yorkshire grit. This will take the sanding from 400 to around 1000, so it's a lot quicker. Once that's done, it's time for Yorkshire grit microfine, and that will take it to around 2000 grit. And then it's time to give it a shine with microcrystalline wax. Amazing stuff. You put it on, you let it dry, and then you buff it off. And the end result is amazing. Then it's time to part it off. Now, I'm not very good at this part in malarkey. I've done it a couple of times, and I'm really not very good at it. And I am expecting it to drop off the lathe and get damaged, but we'll see. Let's hope for the best. <coughs> I was actually lucky, it fell into a box of shavings, so it didn't get damaged. But I'm gonna learn for this and I'm gonna get it right next time. I really enjoyed making this as usual and I absolutely love it. Now I do have some blanks left over, so I'm gonna make another one because this one I'm gonna be giving away as my 4K subscriber giveaway. Thank you so much for getting me to 4K. It's you, You've, your commenting and your thumbs up has pushed my videos out so that more people can see them and I really, really appreciate you subscribing as well. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so because you've got to be a subscriber to win this bottle opener. And I absolutely love it. I might put a B-roll up so that you can see it in a little bit more detail, but it sparkles like crazy in the center. I've domed the end, the end instead of making it flat, so it kind of acts like a magnifier to see the center. And it's gorgeous in the hand. It's beautiful, I love it. So one lucky person is going to win this. Now in order to win it, you do need to write in the comments below your choice of drink. Now it doesn't matter what drink, obviously, it's your choice, but I do need the word choice. I'll write it on the screen so you know how to spell it. And make sure you spell it right or the random generator will not pick it up. I'll announce the video the winner on the video that's coming out on the 12th of April and I'll pick it on the 11th just the day before. So you've got six days to enter. So yeah share this video out let's get more people into this. Hopefully well not hopefully someone will <laughs> win this. <laughs> come next Tuesday. Thanks so much for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and thank you for putting the thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Have a great week. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. <laughs> and bye for now.